Welcome to United Western Enterprises, photochemical etching specialists located in Southern California. Our management team has more than 100 years of total experience and we are eager to put that experience to work for you. We are committed to supplying you with excellent parts and superior customer service. We have proudly been supplying thousands of satisfied customers globally to a variety of different markets including aerospace, military, biomedical, and commercial electronics. The photochemical etching process is a highly accurate process making identical components on a large or a small scale down to a one-up prototype. The process begins by creating a photo tool. This can be created from a DXF or DWG file that can be sent to us via email or through the mail. This is converted and turned into a working photo tool for creating your part. Because of this process, the tooling can be adjusted to redesign quickly and at a minimal cost. The next step in the process is selecting material. We can work with a wide variety of metals, including copper alloys, stainless steel, aluminum alloys, or nickel alloys. Material is then cut into sheets. The metal is then cleaned. It first removes any oils or greases. It's also designed to take off harnish or oxidation that the material might have. Once the material has been adequately cleaned, it's then coated with a photosensitive resist. Resist is photosensitive in that it's sensitive to light, and it's resistant in that it's resistant to the acid that we'll be using as we create the parts. After the metal is coated, it goes into the exposure unit between two pieces of film that has been created from your file, where it's exposed on the top and the bottom by UV light. Where the light goes through the film, the resist becomes very hard or polymerizes. Where the resist is shaded, the resist stays soft. After exposure, the sheets are then sent through the developing process where the soft resist is washed away and the hardened resist remains. The etching process has the sheets going into the etching chambers where the resist has been developed away. It leaves exposed material and the exposed material is dissolved by the heated etching. Where the resist has been hardened, that material remains unaffected. After the parts have been etched, the resist needs to be taken away in the stripping process. After all the processes have been completed, the parts are ready for final inspection. This will ensure that the parts are made to correct dimensional specifications with no imperfections, no defects, producing high quality parts at a fraction of the cost of traditional methods. Our secondary processes would include forming, welding, soldering, heat treatment, plating, or any other value-added processes. For more information, feel free to email us or visit our website at www.ueinc.com. United Western Enterprises, photochemical machining experts supplying quality parts for more than 40 years.